Hi guys, how you all doing? And welcome back to Ask the Pro. I'm here to answer all your footballing questions and any question you might have about trying to make it as a professional footballer. I've been getting quite a lot of questions on my Instagram, in my DM. Thank you guys for the questions. I'm gonna do my best to try and answer as many as possible. But a lot of the questions have been quite similar. So I thought I'd make a video to answer those questions so you guys can check it out. So the question I've been getting asked the most is, how did you get so mentally confident and strong? Could you give me any tips? So basically, I think the question just asks me how I stay strong because there, there was a lot of setbacks when I was trying to make as a professional. And so what I would say to that is because first and foremost, I had a lot of confidence in my own ability. I believed that I was one of the best players, even though I did, wasn't playing for an academy team, even though I wasn't doing much about football. I knew deep down inside that I was the one of the best players in my school. I was one of the best players in my area. Okay, so I had the self-belief, I had the self-confidence. So the first thing you guys need to have is self-belief and self-confidence that you can make it as a professional. Self-confidence that you are the best as long as you believe in yourself, then 100% you still start to develop that strong mentality because that's what I had. I didn't think anyone could stop me on a football pitch. I showed no respect to anybody, even if they were at academy, even if they were professionals. When they came against me, I showed them zero respect because I knew that deep down inside, they might be at a professional club or they might be at a semi-professional club, but deep down inside, I knew that one-on-one, -on -one, I will always be better than you. You are just lucky to be in the position you are in. And one thing that hampered me as well was I thought I was too small to make it as a professional footballer because growing up I was very tiny, I was small. Even now I'm not the biggest player in the world but it was really hard to get into team when you was that size. So I needed to build that self-confidence, I needed to have that resilience, you know what I mean? Because there were so many things going, going against me, okay? So I needed to have that self-confidence if I was going to make it as a professional footballer. In terms of making it, the road to making it was daunting, you know, because not playing for any team and looking at these professionals, it seemed like it was a million miles away. It seemed that it was unattainable, you get me? Because I didn't even have the foundation in place to try and make it as a professional footballer, meaning I wasn't with a team. And thinking about making it as a professional was a crazy thought. Every time I would mention it to someone, they would like be the idea out of me that like, you're crazy. How are you gonna be a professional footballer when you don't even play for an academy or play for any team? How are you gonna do it? But like I said, you need to have self-confidence. You need to believe in yourself because there will be lots and lots of people that tell you that you cannot make it. There will be loads of people that try and discourage you that you cannot make it, okay? But as long as you have self-belief and as long as you're putting in the work, that's what's important to put in 100% work. If you have the self-belief and you keep working hard, then anything is possible. I made football my whole life. Everywhere I go, I had a football with me. Everything I did was to do with football. So if you make football your whole life, then you have half a chance. That's what I did. I knew I didn't know anything else apart from football. So making it as a professional footballer, I had no choice. Okay, I had no choice but to make it as a professional footballer. It's not an easy road, it's very difficult. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say, as long as you say, I wanna be a footballer, you're gonna be a footballer. No, it's not easy. It's a hard and tiring road. It's very frustrating. Um, at the best of times, you need to be physically and mentally prepared for the journey, okay? So I used to look at making as a professional footballer as climbing the highest mountain, okay? While climbing the mountain, there's gonna be loads of obstacles. There's gonna be things in the way. There's gonna be loads of things that happen on the way to the top, okay? that you have to maneuver around, that you have to avoid, all right? There's gonna be times when you start climbing, you're gonna be tired, you're gonna be frustrated, but you can't stop, you need to continue the climb, okay? There's gonna be time where you're gonna slip, where you're gonna fall back to the floor, okay? You need to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and go again. There's gonna be people at the bottom because they don't have the self-drive 
and self-motivation to do what you're doing. Instead of them doing it, they're gonna criticize you because they don't have the confidence to do it themselves, who are afraid of the challenge, who are afraid to fail. So instead of them doing it themselves, they'll rather discourage you, they'll rather tell you that you're wasting your time, do something else, why you're trying to climb this mountain is impossible, okay? Because they wanna be at the same level as you, they don't want you elevating yourself to your dream. So you need to avoid them as well. But get back to climbing this mountain, keep going. There's gonna be rocks falling, you need to avoid them. There's gonna be snow on the way, it's gonna be bad weather, there's gonna be rain, there's gonna be lots of things trying to stop you from getting to the top. But as long as you don't give up and you keep moving, you keep moving, not standing still, you keep going, you keep going, then at the end of the day, you will get to the top. A lot of people give up when they're almost at the top. A lot of people give up when they're so close because they get so tired and they get so frustrated that the pressure is too much, the pressure from maybe your parents, the pressure from your friends, the pressure from yourself is too much. So before they get to the top, they just give up on themselves. So as long as you don't give up and keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing, you will make it to the top and you will earn yourself that well-deserved professional contract. That's what I did. I never stopped. I had all them obstacles in my way. I had everything going against me. I had my age going against me. I had my size going against me. I had people and speaking in my ear that I can't make it. I had managers telling me I wasn't good enough. The only person that believed in me was me. So guys, I'm gonna leave you with this. You need to believe in yourself. Don't let anybody's opinion of you change you or discourage you from going for your goal, okay? The worst thing in this life is people that said, I could have, should have, would have. Do you know what I mean? That's not gonna ride me. There's no way I'm not gonna give it 100%. Okay, if I fail and if I don't do it, at least I have the comfort to know that I gave it 110%, I gave it my all, and there was nothing more I, can, I could have done. So I can rest easy, I can relax, I can be happy with myself to say that I gave it 110% and it didn't happen. But the worst thing that could happen is me sitting there and thinking, watching TV and thinking, that could have been me, that should have been me. Why didn't I put in the work? Why did I give up? Why did I listen to these people? Okay, that's the worst thing. It will be hard, it will be really, really hard for you to get over something like this. So it's better you give it your all and go for it and do your best than to sit there and be saying, I could have, should have, would have. If only I have trained harder, if only I have worked harder, then maybe I'd have made it. Okay, there's no room for that. That will eat you up. Trust me, that will eat you up. As long as you get air in your lungs and as long as you can run, as long as you have the ability to try and make it, do not ever stop. Do everything in your power. Do everything possible to try and make it, okay? The percentage of people making it is very, very low. A lot of people are gonna give up on the way, okay? So as long as you don't give up, as long as you keep pushing, you have a better chance of making it. I hope this answers your question on how did I get mentally confident and strong, okay? I hope you're gonna take something positive from this and implement it into your way of thinking and into your way of playing football. And fingers crossed, your dreams come true and you do make it as a professional footballer. Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you for watching. Keep those questions coming in and I'll do my best to answer them all. So have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Believe in yourself. Let's do this.